Okay, so we're going to be working with a case backhoe picture today. And I've already taken a snippet from some, from some literature. Uh, we're going to come over here. What we want to do is get rid of the background. So we'll take our magic wand. and It's at 39% currently. And you can see when I click on the white that it's getting way too much of what we want. Because I want to keep the black and white here. So we're going to attempt to turn, turn down our tolerance. Okay, that's a little too much. Let's bring it up slowly. And we're just looking for any spots where it might be taking too much. Okay, that looks all right. It's getting a little... Okay, right there. So we'll go back 1% to 36. And what I'm going to do now is hit delete. We're going to delete that. Okay, so there we go. Most of our background is now gone. We still need to go through here and do a little bit of troubleshooting uh, and get some of these like in here. And I think 36, let's zoom in. Let's see here. 36 is still, yeah, that's pretty good. I think we can get rid of that. So we're going to delete that out. Okay. We're going to come in here and get rid of that one. There's a little bit right there. Delete that. Delete, delete, work out more. And we're just going to go through here. It's probably a little too much. There we go. Let's go up. Okay, there we go. We're at 30 for that one. Get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to come in here <clears throat> and we're going to work on this section we're just going to work our way up so let's go up from 30 because it's a little there we go 32 and we're going to delete that out of there and this one yep i figured as much it's not recognizing this line going all the way through and i don't think it's going to be able to pick it up like we want yeah so for this one we're going to get a little creative here we're going to unselect that there we go that's just by hitting our our rectangle select and we just click somewhere we're going to come down to our eraser because that's what we're really doing here is erasing all these things. The things we don't want, the background. And we're on 10 right now, which is way too big for what we want to do in here. So we're going to go, I'm going to say probably three. Yeah, there we go. Three works out all right. We're just going to come in here. We're just going to paint or rather erase. Do a little perimeter here. And again, we're zoomed in pretty far. So once we zoom out, this will look pretty good. And while I'm here, I see a little little splash that was left behind by my initial background removal. So we're just going to get rid of that. All right. Tidy that up a little bit. Okay. There we go. So everything between the back of the tractor and the front of the backhoe unit is now clean, it looks like. And we're going to hit here to bring it back to our full screen. There we go. We got no background in there. It looks pretty good. So we're going to zoom back in here. We're going to keep moving. We've got our our control center for the backhoe. We're going to go back. Okay, we're at 21. I'm going to bring it back up to 41. That looks pretty good. I know it's a little jagged, but all in all, it'll look all right, I think. So delete. All right, and let's go. Okay, we got a little bit of a steering wheel gap in there. We'll get rid of that. We'll deal with the numbers here in a little bit, but we'll get this. Okay, that's too much. No, that one's going to have to be another eraser, I think. So let's zoom in and scroll with our mouse wheel, and then we'll drag over. And we're on three. Oh, let's bring it down to two. Oh, heck, let's go to one, just so we have. Okay, so there's one. We're just going to come in here and carefully get rid of this. It's, it's really about the fine details. You know, the fine, if, if you have a whole bunch of fine details, they add up and really make a big detail or get rid of a big detail so five is too big I suppose I can get that with the last the magic wand there we go that's gone and we want to get rid of this let's go up to 38 okay let's do there we go let's do 42 that looks pretty good now I can already see some some residual from our initial removal what I'm going to do here is go in and erase that. And I'll show you how to find these a little bit better in a little bit. 
just going to get a few of these while we can see them. Okay. All right, let's keep moving here. So we've got that right there. That's not supposed to be there. There's background there, so we're going to get rid of that. And we have another one. Okay, so we're at 42% here. And we're going to delete that out. Okay, there we go. And we can see we've got some overlap here that we didn't get from the background originally. So I'm just going to tidy this up real quick with what I can see. So we're going to get rid of some of that. And again, I'll show you guys how to uh, see this a lot easier here in a little bit. But since we're here, we're just going to get up in there. Maybe go down to one because it gets pretty, pretty tight in there. Okay. Now let's do a control Z and bring some of that back. Okay. All right. Get some of that cleaned up. Let's go back to four. And we'll remove that, kind of smooth it up. Okay. All right. So let's see if we have anything else floating around here. Okay. So, yep, that can go away there. That looks like background material. Um, what happens if I bring it up to 53? Now, that, yeah, let's do a control Z. We'll go back down. Go back down to 52. I guess it doesn't change much. All right, we'll go with it. All right. There we go. That all looks good. Scroll through here. That can probably get cleaned up just a little bit more. Let's go down to one. We'll pull that out of there. Again, there's a lot of fluff here. Well, let's do a two, maybe. I'm not sure what that control is supposed to be. We're a little too close. And, okay. And let's scroll down. Everything looks good there. We'll go back out, zoom out. Okay, so we need to go down to the bottom of the bucket here because we've got some residual. There we go. And we'll do the wand, reduce, let's get that into focus here. So we're doing way too much here, so we're going to bring that back. There we go. We just want to creep up on it. 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, so there we go. So one, two, three, there. There we go. We're going to delete that out. And we get that, there's that getting this cream backbone removed and I'm going to come in here with our eraser at 10 blast that out and then I'm just going to carefully I'll leave it at 10 here I want to get rid of that there we go all right and then I suppose it's a good time to show you guys the color picker option so we'll we'll hit our color picker option here we're right, coming here to one of these pixels Oh, that one looks all right. So we're going to hit that. And you can see down here our primary color has been changed. And then we're going to come up to our paintbrush. And it has automatically selected what we need. And we're going to go down to... Let's go down to one. This is going to be some real fine tune. So we just want to change some of these pixels so this line doesn't look so prominent anymore. There. There we go. Okay, so let's scroll up here. I think, oh, there's a little bit in here. These are just hoses. That, oh, I don't want to do that. Whoopsies. I don't want to paint it. We want to remove it. So we're going to get our eraser out. We're just going to carefully go in here. There we go. That looks like it should be open space as well. And maybe just a smidge of that. Okay. So <clears throat> let's move on to our gray portion here. I think I think what I want to do, because this is kind of a, I want to make this a black and white instead of whatever, it's more of a blue color to it. So 
let's get our lasso. This is our freeform lasso. And I'm just going to carefully come in here and try and highlight this as best I can. Just experimenting right now. I'm just going to see if we can get. Okay. All right, so we got all that selected. Let's see what happens. We're going to adjustments, black and white, and then we're going to click off it. All right, it's looking pretty good, I think. Let's zoom in here and see if we can. I know there's chunks missing. We can actually put those back in here real quick. So we got some chunks missing out. Right, so we're going to use our color picker. We're just going to pick one of these colors in here. And we're going to get our paintbrush and let's bring that back up to probably five. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to drag it across, kind of fill that in. And then I'm thinking, I'm betting I'll. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do this with the uh, magic wand. We'll have to do this manually. So let's bring that down to three. Let's be real careful in here. We'll just carefully erase that out. Let's go down to one. So we got that that one deleted out of there. Okay. Now there's a gap in here, and I know because I can barely see it that the computer is going to have a hard time seeing it. So we're going to have to do this one manually. I'm going to go up to two. We're just going to kind of carefully go through here. Again, this isn't going to be super noticeable once we zoom out, but it's just nice to have this in here okay and we'll get the color picker we're just going to fill in these gaps here that were made when we deleted the background okay all right now let's go back up here because we have to do the same thing with this hydraulic cylinder oh, let's start this out with one for erasing Make sure it's on eraser, otherwise you'll be drawn again. Okay, we're going to start on one. Okay, it's widening out. We'll go up to two. And we'll just go on down through the line here. Try to... I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. <clears throat> make this a little bit clearer for us. safely go through here and draw it, erase it out like this. Alright, let's close it in. There. Alright, so let's go out all the way. Oh, we missed. We need to come in here and get rid of that. That's, that doesn't need that to be there. So let's scroll up. I'm going to get rid of this for right now. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. That makes it a little bit makes it a little bit better. Again, we're we're here in, on the individual pixels, so this isn't going to this isn't going to stand out when we zoom out. See? Okay. Now, before I move on to getting rid of the rest of these numbers, because I want this to just look like the regular tractor, um, we should probably get rid of all the fringy stuff. You can kind of see them popping up right there on the background. Um, they are <clears throat> very hard to see for us right now. If I zoom in and I try and find some, let's see, we'll scroll over by the bucket end. Okay, so you can see just barely there's, there's spec marks because the computer couldn't discern what it needed to get out of here. And we are gonna have a hard time seeing that, so we need to make it easier. So we're going to come up here to our adjustments, and we're going to come down to invert colors, and we're going to make it much nicer. And there we go. Now we can get our eraser, make it big. We're just going to come through here and, and just get rid of all of this. Like that. Okay. Yep, there's a lot of that. I know from just looking at this here a little bit ago, that's safely removable. And we can uninvert our colors by going back up and hitting that function again. 
so that it goes back the way it needs to. And we're just going to slowly go around a perimeter. That doesn't need to be there. Carefully. Okay. There we go. So we got some. Okay, so we know this is a number right here, and I can see how it plays into that hydraulic cylinder. So we're just going to come through here and carefully cut that out or erase it out. Okay, there we go. That's gone. So we can get these pulled out of here. This just takes a little bit going through and uh, removing all the little dots. So it's a little bit neater looking. And again, we can kind of see where it's a little bit fat on these lines here, and that's excess that doesn't need to be there. And you can just kind of generalize and fill in the gap. Okay. Yep. And again, we have another we have another number here we can just carefully take out. We'll fill that in here in a little bit if necessary. Okay. There's another number. There we go. Got that removed. Again, like these, we would have never probably seen, or it would have been very hard. So this is making it a lot nicer for us. There we go. Get some of those tire ones. That one we're going to have to go get a little bit smaller. Let's go down to four. There we go. Okay, got that one cleaned up. Clean up the edge of that bucket. And let's go back up to ten here for a little bit. So the bucket's a little rough. Let me see if we can even that up. Steady hand. And we'll come across. There we go. Well, that'll be all right. Let me just make it symmetrical. Okay. And we're going to come over. I think we're getting close here to getting it all kind of spiffed up. Okay. Oh, that is another number. We can just carefully remove that. In line with the edge of the seat. And there will be excess left over on the seat, but we'll get to that here in a minute. All right, there we go. Oh, there's another number. We'll just carefully remove that one. And all right, there we go. Now we're going to go back up to adjustments, and we're going to re-invert, and it's back. And now. We are on to removing these numbers carefully. <clears throat> so for this one, this one's a pretty easy fix. We're going to come up here. We're going to get our rectangle select. And we're just going to drag a rectangle here because it's the same color. And we're going to do a control C to copy and control V to paste. And that pastes a copy of that square over the other one. So we just need to drag it down. And maybe stretch it a little bit. There we go. And we'll click off of that. And that one is now gone. We're going to come down here and do the same thing for this one. Control C, Control V, drag it down. It no longer exists. Now this one's going to be a little tricky. Let's see. I think. All right, so we're going to use a color picker. We're going to come in here. We're just going to pick a color. Okay, so let's see here. So we got our color picker. Let's go in here. Click that. We'll grab our paintbrush. Ten is way too big for what we're doing here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do this differently. Let's let's grab our rectangle and we're just. I'm going to grab that 
right there. Control C, Control V, and we're just going to move this down because it's going to be real similar. Okay, and we're going to stretch that. Okay, and then let's do another. We'll do a lasso, a free lasso. We're going to see if we can get this. No, 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 no. Let's come in here. We'll do a color picker, and we're just going to draw it. We're going to manually draw this. And there we go. We're just going to fill that in. All right, there we go. So let's back out here. All right, that looks pretty good. It looks like it was meant to be there. So let's come down. Okay, so this is where one of those other numbers was at. I'm going to grab the eraser and we're just going to carefully carefully draw that out. Let's see. You know, I'm just going to grab oh, that's too high. I'm just going to grab another section so it's similar. Control C, Control V. I'm just going to drag that up and there we go. Alright, now if we go back out. Oh, there's just a little bit of a speck in there. Let's go back in. Scroll down over, yeah, right there. That needs to go. So let's do a color picker. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that color, and then we're just going to, there we go. Good. Okay, we got this one we need to get rid of, so I'm just going to, control C, control V, and I'm going to stretch it just a little bit. There we go. If we zoom back out, yep, that one's fixed. Okay, so we've got number one on our steering wheel left. We've got number three, 15, and 14. So, oh, let's do 12. Let's get 12 done with. Right there's 12. And we're just going to grab our color picker. Get one of those. Get our, get our little wand here, paintbrush. And we're just going to come in here. Okay. And I'm just going to zoom back out. Yep, 12 is now gone. Let's grab 14 and get that one knocked out. So that one, let's see. wonder if I have enough room in here to get control C, control V. What happens if I just, just drag that down? Let me zoom out. Do that again. I want to kind of smudge this out a little bit more. So we get that. Control C, Control V. We'll just drag that down and click off of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's go back up. And these ones are going to be a little bit trickier. We're just going to get that. And then we're just going to have to manually come in and hand jam that. Try and remain that. Maintain that line on the wheel there. Okay. Alright, we're gonna zoom out. Okay, it's a little little noticeable. I think that'll be alright. Maybe we should just come in here and finish drawing that up a little bit. There we go. And we'll just try and hide our crimes here. There we go. And we'll zoom out. Yeah. Yep. That's looking like I want. So let's go up here for number three. And I think, yeah. So we're going to grab, we'll just grab color picker from right there. And we're going to come in. Now this is, we can kind of see a line here. We want to try and maintain that. So we're just going to carefully come in here. Remove that. a decal of some sort, I would assume. Kind of hard to tell. Yep, yep. That's probably the serial number plate. Alright, so we're left with number one. The last one. Oh, I need to come and clean that bucket up here in a minute. <clears throat> so let's go up to number one here. 
Okay, we just have to we have to delete that out. We have to erase it just carefully. Okay, yep. And we're gonna get our color picker. I'm just gonna get one of those because I just want to get rid of that last little bit there. Oh, those are our levers. Okay. All right, so we're almost done here. I'm going to come over to our bucket because I can see we got a little bit of fuzziness on it. Yep, 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 definitely some fuzziness there. All right, so we got our eraser. Let's go up to four. I'm just going to carefully, carefully hand jam that. There we go. Nice and pretty. A little bit of fuzziness there. All right. Our muffler looks all right. Yeah. I'm just going to take a little bit of that number off up there. Yep, there we go. All right, so let's zoom out. There is our finished product. So we're going to file, save as, and is that 530, 430? We'll do a 530 CK Echo. Okay. All right. And there we go. And now we will navigate for that. So let's go to case logos, right? And PNG versions, and we're looking for 530CK. We'll look for that real quick. There it is. We'll open that up in our viewer here. And I will change which 